Toradora is a widely beloved anime that has made a huge impact on many people, myself included. It was incredibly captivating getting attached to all the characters and getting immersed into such a vibrant world. We waited patiently every episode for Taiga and Ryuji to get together, knowing that it was bound to happen eventually as we followed these characters through their respective journeys. Investment was at an all-time high. The payoff that we waited for the whole show was finally here. Ryuji and Taiga finally got together. And we barely got to see any of it. I love Toradora. Watching it a couple years ago was an unforgettable experience. I watched the whole show in a day binging it due to my eagerness on what else these characters that I'd grow so fond of would do. I kept saying to myself, one more episode after every one that I finished because I knew that I couldn't go to sleep until I saw what I wanted to see. I was so immersed and more than anything, I wanted to see this relationship that I invested so much of myself into finally happen. And then it did. And it was great. For like five minutes, see? Losing something that you're so attached to can really, really hurt. You'll feel a sense of emptiness caused by so much buildup for something that you wanted so bad but barely got to see any of. It leaves a void, and you could ask my friends, but I know that it left me a little messed up for a while. A lot of fans don't like the Toradora ending, and honestly, the main reason for that is because of how good the show was. It's honestly a super huge compliment to the show that everyone hated or was at least disappointed with the ending, which I know sounds weird, but let me explain. You can't have that kind of reaction that makes you feel a sense of emptiness without being super immersed into the story that you're watching. It really goes to show how great a job the creator did in making such an immersive world filled with likable characters that we just couldn't get enough of. But what is actually wrong with the ending? Well, nothing. Um, it's weird because the ending actually implies that Ryuji and Taiga live happily, but it still hurts. Let me put it in a scenario for you real quick. You're watching this grand adventure. Pirates are looking for treasure or whatever, going on this epic quest, I don't know, this is what came to my head. But they're going through great challenges. Then, when they finally reach the treasure, there's no final showdown or something like that. It's just there. They find it, and there's like, that's it, it's over. There's nothing that else that they have to do. Their journey's over. That's it. It's done. They found the treasure. Okay, cool. It's anticlimactic, right? It leaves your feelings a little disappointed. All that build up just for a result that doesn't feel fulfilling and just doesn't sit right, you know? So briefly going over what we talked about, the biggest problem that most people had for the ending was a lack of reward. Going through episode after episode, build up, finally getting what you've been waiting for, just to lose it so quickly can be sad, especially if you grew attached and wanted to see the characters just be happy together. I know a lot of people have asked for an OVA just seeing Ryuji and Saga existing side by side in a relationship. In my opinion, this ending doesn't fail at all on a story level. Everything that needed to be told was told, and by the end there was no more story to tell. The ending wasn't disappointing in a way where it didn't make sense, it was disappointing on an emotional level. This is due to no fault of the creators of the show, and honestly it isn't even a bad thing that Toradora fans feel this way. Torador did everything it needed to with its ending, and while it was disappointing to maybe not see as much as we could have, I feel that it's an ending that if you look at it more critically, maybe after you get over the emotional investment a couple weeks later, you can appreciate. However, there's one part of the show near the ending that I don't hear people get as sad about that happens like during the last couple episodes. This particular part of the show hurt me way more than that last episode did, and that was Taiga leaving for a year. I just always imagined being Ryuji in this situation. You meet this girl that you spend almost all of your time with. She's at your apartment each and every single day. You're always there for her, and she's always there for you. You eventually fall in love with her after a long time, and going through many, many things, you finally get together. Then, right after this finally happens, she's gone. She just leaves a letter, and that's it. Tega leaving was the saddest part of Tordor for me, because I couldn't help but feel bad for Ryuji. I was so invested in this story, and when I stopped to think about Ryuji adapting from being with Taiga every single day to her just disappearing from his life, being gone for a whole year, not seeing her, not hearing from her, not even knowing if she'll ever come back again, is sad. We know Taiga's reasons for leaving, and that's not the topic of today's video, but man, that year must have been so hard for Ryuji. Take how we felt during the ending of the show. All of this buildup only to just see them reunite briefly before the show just ends. It's the same thing really for what happened to Ryuji. He was finally happy in his life and got with Taiga, but then he just suddenly lost it. And then he just had to go back to the way life was for him, not really fulfilling. It's an all for nothing sort of feeling, and thinking more into it, 
it's kind of wild that us, the viewers of the show, feel the same emotion that the main character does. A slow but happy build up to what you always wanted, only to lose it. But of course, all does end well for Ryuji when he reunites with Taika a year later. That kind of makes the year that they were forced to spend apart less sad, especially knowing that Taiga is now ready for this relationship after fixing personal problems and problems she faced with her family. I think that the ending of the show is great, and of course emotional attachment is going to lead us to wanting to see more of these characters and can lead to us feeling disappointed. But I can't help but see these emotions that the show made us feel as a good thing. It was able to leave such a strong impact, and once the sadness of not seeing what I wished I could have seen with these characters, you can't help but be happy for them, because they all got what they wanted in the end. So do I think Toradora had a bad ending? No, but it absolutely was a sad ending, at least when first watching through. All in all, it's a beautifully told story that does such a good job getting you attached that it's kind of hard to let go. For, for that and all the reasons we went over today, I believe that is why the Toradora ending is maybe not hated, but just makes the viewers so sad. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment and let me know what other stuff you want me to talk about. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, it's been a while since I touched up on any Toradora content. And I missed it. Um, I know it's been a while since the abridged and a lot of other things on this channel, but there's a lot of stuff I want to bring back soon. Um, so just give me some time getting stuff together and you're going to start to see more consistency from me. This video coming so soon after the cooler one is probably kind of surprising because I haven't been this consistent in a little while. Just kind of having fun with it and um, making these videos because I enjoy it and I hope you enjoyed as well. Uh, leave a like, subscribe with the bell so you don't miss anything from me. Um, and, and that's all. Thank you. Take care and have a wonderful day.